Hola y bienvenidos a UFC Conectado. El peleador invicto de peso pluma, Bryce Mitchell, ha ganado su reputación representando a sus raíces sureñas dentro del octágono. Top Nasty le da el crédito de su éxito a ser un peleador local y está orgulloso de su estilo de vida y configuración de entrenamiento. Viajamos hasta el centro de entrenamiento de Mitchell en Searcy, Arkansas, para aprender más de su amor por su tierra en Enfoque. Arkansas, I like living out here. It's real peaceful. I couldn't have the cows and the goats and the chickens and the pigs and stuff that I wanted if I lived in the city. I might not have been to like bigger gyms, but I've got just as good of a shot of being a world champion as anybody from any gym anywhere. I attribute my success to where I'm from and how I was raised. Fighting out of Cersei, Arkansas, Bryce the Nasty Mitchell! Oh, big left from Thug Nasty! Hell yeah, man, that's what we do in Arkansas. Bryce Mitchell, he has incredible pride for training out of his small town, Searcy, Arkansas. Now he's supposed to be here, he's out from Arkansas. Arkansas ain't worth the He told me I have to leave Arkansas and be worth something. Every time he put a mic in my face, I'm gonna say Arkansas. Every day I wake up, I eat some coffee, grind, and get going. Water the dogs, the cats, and the chickens, and feed them. I call this Chicken City right here. This is the grand opening of Chicken City. They're gonna have a little slide, they're gonna have a pool, jump into the pool, I guess like a diving board. <laughs> What you're about to see is some of the biggest okra you've ever seen in your damn life. You'll see me out there picking and eating a bunch of it. Some of it won't even make it to the bag. My buddies start calling me homegrown. Just like the okra out there, I'm homegrown. I do firmly believe in what you eat is what you are. Watermelons, I love them, but they're not gonna get you big. You know, they're not gonna really get you through a winter. Okra will, okra will get you through the winter. I have no idea what is in the okra, but it's crunchy and it's delicious. I'm training here all the time when nobody's looking. I got a log out there that I curl and then I lift it over my head and then I run in a circle and then I'll fill up the wheelbarrow with dirt and push it around. The number one reason I won't go to a big gym is because of the secrecy. Your plants need to be dark as night. This is how we do it. First time I met Bryce, he was 16 years old. I had a gym in Cabot, Arkansas, where he lived. And uh, he walked in with his mom, trains with us, has a blast, gets back up, tells his mom he wants to join the gym. She signed him up that night, and he's been with me ever since. He acknowledged that he didn't know his dad. And I said, well, just a coincidence, I don't know my dad either. So it really clicked. Why is he getting his look? <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing you down with me. Entertainment. <laughs> Willie's probably the closest thing I've ever had to a dad. He's just always there to talk to me if I want to talk or hang out. Bryce, he is like my son. I call him son. He calls me pops. Uh, I'll support him as a dad. I treat him just like my other boys. Willie has taught me more than anything how to use the full power of your mind and to prepare it for battle. And sometimes I'm training too much, and he says, you need to go to the river and just go fishing, go ride your four-wheeler, do something. That's been one of the sentiments he repeats, is that he says that your life is important besides fighting. Yeah, I really like coming out here because it's just real relaxing. One day I'll just be a retired old geezer, and that's all that I'm going to do, so I'll be fine. Bryce represents the average normal Joe out there who's looking to make it and feels like they possibly never could unless you go to the big gyms. 24-7, you're gonna catch him acting the same damn way. He does not change for nobody. 
Bryce Mitchell told me, I don't know how I'm going to win the fight. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's Bryce in a nutshell, though. A guy that just goes after it. Y'all going to have to kill me or make me some camo shorts because I ain't shutting up till then. Bryce Mitchell wasn't real. You couldn't make him up. I do this for you. People tell him, you need to move. You need to go one of the big camps. And he says, I'm staying right at home in Arkansas. These other people that train in other places, they have their particular style. You know, I have mine, and it's different. It's probably going to become more popular. We're probably going to see more and more fighters not coming out of big gyms, coming out of the middle of nowhere because of that element of secrecy. That's it, Bryce. That's it. It is. Make it happen. Board game. Make it happen. Yeah. Make it happen. That's tight. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Bryce, that's yeah. unbelievable. Just the second twister in UFC history. I love my family, I love my friends, I love my teammates, I love my coaches, I love God, and I love Arkansas. The amount of support that I've got from people here is pretty crazy. There's a lot of people around here that like what I'm doing. I just know that they want me to go on and be the champion, and I can't wait to do it. I want more than anything to sell out that Simmons Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. It will be full every damn seat, and there will be people sneaking in, standing in between the aisles, and you'll have to kick them out. Because I'm telling you, my people will fill that stadium up. When it's all said and done, the goal is to get everybody to watch, and then at the end of it, be able to give back something. You know, so it's not you're not just fighting for yourself; you're going to be fighting for something else. A lot of younger people are getting in the sport around here. They're gonna see a guy like me, and they're gonna say, wow, look at this guy who trains on his farm, and look what he's doing. If you build it, they will come. I'm building it, and they're gonna come.